Hi guys, today we are reviewing the recent uh, collection of our jewelry pieces and before we start may I remind you about the few rules. Room number one, we don't criticize or leave negative comments beneath the videos because every single piece you see it belongs to someone and the design was done in accordance to the wishes of the current owner. Therefore, if you'd like to change something as a design or have your own thoughts on how to improve it or make it completely different, just send a message in WhatsApp, which is always attached beneath the video, and we will make a jewelry which suits your personal taste. Number one is a pair of earrings with aquamarine. And as you can see, the stone doesn't look very much bright, and that's how it's supposed to be, because natural aquamarines shall not be the chemical aquamarine blue. If you see that effect, it means that it's not a true aquamarine at all. And I do enjoy actually how beautifully the stone reveals its color in a dark gloomy weather because it becomes that kind of uh, metallic grayish blue and I do like how noble it looks. Number two is a stone which you have seen probably among the collection of the best gemstones of the last months and it is absolutely unique and beautiful on its own. Therefore we decided not to spoil the effect with any kind of additional details. The design looks very simple. You have got uh, the mantras from our Thai shaman. And no, I cannot tell what does it mean because every mantra is chosen specifically for the owner and only the owner shall know what is it about and what does it mean. I also think that there is no need to describe the colors. You can see that the combination of hues is stunning. And for those who don't know what the mantras uh, we are talking about, um, we have our friend in Thai who is the real shaman and uh, he is actually making the special rituals uh, with the jewelry pieces and enriching them with the power of magic. You don't have to believe in it, I also am not sure if I believe it in or not, but some people find it important, some people find it helpful and even if you don't have a faith in it, it's good to have something what has got some meaning, right? Number three is a very eye-pleasing design, very authentic, I would say. And no, it's not an emerald, it's actually tourmalines. Some of you may say that the shape looks a bit different. However, I can assure you it's an optical illusion because both tones are 100% identical. Number four is a stunning Maasai garnet. Most probably you, my dear followers, already recognize this bright, orange color and the initial idea of the design was to create something what would look like the lotus flower and lotus flower is symbolizing the reveal of your potential blossoming developing and also preserving the purity of your soul in this dirty dirty world i also loved that we decided to add a little detail as you may see a few black diamond sitting on the side of um, the main stone and a little one black diamond sitting at the very bottom of the ring. Yes, other people wouldn't be able to see it, but these tiny details make the jewelry perfect, I believe. It's just like wearing a good lingerie under the beautiful dress. Number five is a gemstone which you would gladly pass to your future generations, to your sons, daughters and granddaughters and grandsons, because this is a perfect investment stone. It also looks very, very nice, but you have to wear it with care if you don't want to lose much money. The design suits this stone perfectly well. I like how the ring looks from the top and from any other angle, actually. The dragon symbolizes the power and the wisdom in many cultures. This one dragon specifically, I believe, represents the water element because there are different kind of uh, dragons, you know. Number six is the new version of our very popular design with the Unalun symbol and a couple of very eye-pleasing tourmalines. Unalun symbol came to Hinduism and Buddhism from uh, paganism actually. It is widely used in different uh, Eastern Asian countries. And the main idea of the symbol is improving and enhancing of your advancement in any area you are occupied in. In other words, whatever you do, you do better with Unalon. Number seven, another Tsavarite. And as I mentioned before, Tsavarite is a great way to invest money because they grow in 30% each year. 
and they will not stop growing because the mining is already exhausted. Nowadays even two carats have already supposed to be a huge found. I'm not mentioning 10 carats or more. And here we have got another dragon, but here, as you can see, the style is more in European maybe mythology rather than in Eastern one. And the dragon is made from the black gold. And if you thought that it is a kind of a pendant, no, it is actually an earring which uh, is supposed to be sitting on the ear in a very specific way. Number eight is another very rare gemstone, which is Mahenga Spinel. Mahenga is the name of the place where this type of the stone um, is being mined, and this place is located in Tanzania. And if you look at the design and the combination of colors, I hope you will find it the same stunning as I do, because just look at this contrast between this matte black and bright pink and shining gold. That is just stunning, no words. I am just speechless. Number nine is a star sapphire. Unfortunately, you can see the star very much brightly because of the too much bright sunshine. Not enough contrast and therefore the star is not very much visible. The design of the ring is very interesting. You see the idea is that we cover with the blackening the whole ring. However, after that we polish a little bit the convex part, therefore it creates the very noble effect of shabbiness. Number 10 is the design created 100% by the customer and I do love how creative you guys can be. Honestly, some of you could make a good designer for our company. As you may see at the background, it is snowing, so you may be sure that these type of stones will look 100% nice under any kind of lining. And the stones here itself is two very, very lovely garnets. Number 11 is a dark blue spinel and this stone looks amazing under any kind of lightning. Under the gloomy, cloudy weather it will be still very eye-pleasing, grayish, stormy blue. While very famous stones, for example royal blue sapphire, will become just black. That's why I do adore spinel. This stone looks good under any circumstances. And again, as you see, there are some mantras which can be arranged individually by request. However, in this case, it will take a bit longer because we have to send the ring to the shaman so he would mm, perform his rituals. Number 12 is again a spinel, a slightly different color as you can see. And when you uh, encounter this kind of hue, it is most probably Sri Lanka, maybe Madagascar as well. Why Madagascar and Sri Lanka produce the same type of stones? Because long, long time ago it used to be one part of the continent. Afterwards it split it and Madagascar just crawled a bit down. That's why even in laboratory sometimes I cannot understand uh, if the origin is Sri Lanka or Madagascar because the gemology components are identical and even the inclusions are also pretty much similar to each other. The style of the ring is 100% classic and minimalistic. It's the yellow gold, the white diamonds and a beautiful spin in the middle. Number 13 is another variation of approximately the same design but with a pink beautiful garnet from Tanzania. And you already know that it is from our beloved friend in Tanzania because exactly he is mining in the only one place in the world where they produce these bright purplish pink garnets. And just for you to know, if you are somewhere from the European countries, in the autumn or in the winter, this stone doesn't lose its brightness. Number 14 is a beautiful and very cute drink with the um, natural Ethiopian opal. Not treated at all. And if you are afraid that this kind of stone will lose its color or become ugly brown, if you put your hands in the water or you occasionally take it with you in the shower, um, well, among the stones which I have picked up personally, it never took place, so hopefully your ring will be alright as well. You can watch actually the video about the opals, uh, Ethiopian opal specifically, and you will see our little experience which we were making with that. Number 15 is a stunning work of our designers and our customers, and this ring is what is called a cocktail ring. Of course you cannot wear that on a daily basis, because each time when you put your hands in a pocket wearing these rings or in a bag, the little details will loosen up 
and you might risk to lose a stone or two. The cocktail rings were originally designed to be wet at cocktail parties, therefore you put on a beautiful dress, put on a beautiful ring and go to sit on it beautifully for an hour or two and then you come back home and put it in a little box. The stones uh, in the strings are sapphires and diamonds and the stones are luxury and the ring is luxury and it looks absolutely stunning, so that is a masterpiece, I believe. Number 16 is a very rare guest and it is an emerald. We don't work with emeralds uh, very often and those of you who have been following us for some time already know why. The um, more or less stable mining goes in Zambia and Colombia and most of the corons are very bad in quality therefore they are heavily treated to get the desired effect in color. I strongly believe that the only one way of treatment um, is allowed to take place in case of emeralds which is oil refilling all the rest is not acceptable in case of oil the only one thing which it does is making the little tiny microscopical crackles in time to the stone to be invisible and that's it and that type of method has been used even by the ancient greeks and romans of course the classic type of the gemstone is combined with a classic yellow goat and the symbol of Unalon on the side. Number 17 again is spinel and this time it is a Sri Lankan spinel or at least uh, we bought it at Sri Lanka. It does mean that it is uh, from Sri Lanka 100% unless you saw it being mined because what happens as I told you Madagascar and Sri Lanka they used to be one piece of the land and therefore nowadays some people in Sri Lanka may buy some stone in Madagascar and sell them in Sri Lanka as Sri Lankan one and vice versa. Here we have got a little bit more purple or even violet type of the hue comparing to the previous two. And in the very middle of it I can actually can spot a little bit of pink. The design is very simple just for the daily um, usage and that's what we like about this stone and this ring. Number 18, again my favorite black star sapphire. The beauty of it is highlighted by a very beneficial design. The stone itself is very beautiful and I keep buying uh, them not only for you guys but for myself as well because I do know that in 10 years it will make me a fortune. Because again the mining in Chantaburi has been exhausted many years ago so now every single black sapphire of a jewelry quality is priceless already. The design, if I may bring your attention to that, is very beautiful but at the same time very practical. It's very difficult to damage the stone in this type of the ring setting. Number 19, another black sapphire. Yep, that's it. I do like this stone. However, this one is just explicitly good. Look how beautifully the gross line allocated here. It just, it's just something from the other planet, honestly. On the side of the ring you see little chinchok lizards, which are also not ordinary lizards, but their specific symbols. They are believed to bring to the owner the special charm and attract love. Therefore, if you are looking for the special relationship leading to the creating of the family, that's the symbol you need to pick up. Number 20 is a very unusual design, 100% created by our customer and the current owner of this pendant. I do not know the symbolic meaning of it because I never ask. Your wish is a law for me. My job is just to embody your dream into the reality. And the stone here is the treated Ethiopian opal. Um, Ethiopian opals are usually white but if they are treated with the acid they become that kind of dark black uh, with the bright colored flashes. Some people uh, say that it looks like Australian black opals, however, well, when you see the Australian black opal, you will know for sure that they are very much different. However, the good news is that the Ethiopian treated opals are much cheaper, so if you want something like Australian black opal, but don't want to spend too much money on it, you're very welcome to buy that one. Number 21 is a very gentle pale pink tourmaline. And our compliments to our cut in Sri Lanka because he did a very beautiful, absolutely great job with that. You see quite a simple type of the gemstone became almost a masterpiece thanks to his work. And again, um, at the 
background of the stone we have got some wings the design is by our customer therefore we do not know what was the meaning of it it may be something personal number 22 is the tourmaline with a combination of colors which could be called Padbaraja if it was a sapphire this is the type of the gemstone you can look at for hours and hours because it's so beautifully diverse and as you can see the design is made um, again in the following way the main material is the yellow gold uh, with the blackening on top of it however as you may see some of the details are convex therefore over the time the convex part will be losing the blackening and therefore it will be creating the shabby effect number 23 is the blue zircon from cambodia here by the color i can tell you that the zircon has been heated however it doesn't mean that it becomes less valuable the feature of zircon unlike sapphires for example that you cannot see any differences even at the molecular level between the heated and unheated zircon just everybody know by default this type of color cannot be produced as it is when you just you know get it from the ground and uh, shape it and cut it and polish you always have to heat it however even the laboratory wouldn't be able to tell you if it has been treated or not because again nothing changes like nothing at all in surprise you can see the different type of inclusions um, or some other traces of the treatment in circles no nothing like nah zero number 24 is a very minimalistic and pleasant design uh, for a very pretty tourmaline and again if it was a sapphire it would cost like you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars but that is a tourmaline of Padparaja colors therefore it looks almost like the expensive sapphire but it cost a way less number 25 well you will never be able to tell what it is without my hint it is a topaz that is a natural color for that uh, it is called imperial and that is a very rare found you may ask why i don't sell uh, topaz of the bright blue colors because the bright blue color um, is created by x-ray in the stone therefore it is supposed to be treated therefore it's supposed to be not very much valuable uh, i don't have problems with heating of the stone because it's kind of almost natural type of the treating which can naturally be in the in the ground if for example there is a volcano activity or something like that but x-rain is not very much natural for the stone and that's what we eat for today thank you for watching us thank you for following us and supporting and i'll see you the next time don't forget to take care of yourself and your beloved ones